Now you may remember, um, at one point in one of my videos, I tried out some cookies called Fork in the Road. And they were lavender flavor and they were quite delicious. And I got in contact with the owner and um, maker of these foods and she told me well, I ha that I had to try the uh, other varieties she carries. So she was kind enough to send me some and I'm gonna try them for you. I always like to save the best for last. And while I've never tried these, I've heard great things about the pumpkin chocolate chip. So I'm gonna save these for last. Let me start with the Spiced Snickerdoodle. Now, I opened all three of these and well, I wouldn't put it past me to eat them all really fast because that's just the way I am. But I'm hoping that I will take my time. And uh, in her note, the owner told me that you can simply freeze these and they will stay fresh. So I like that they're little small sizes, and again, that makes them kind of nice. You can put them out, they'd be great little like um, desserts at a party, a nice little gift. I love the packaging, it's beautiful. They're all handmade, all natural, planet friendly food for friend food friendly people, is what it's called. And it's printed on 100% post consumer waste, and the bag is biodegradable. So these are definitely eco vegan, which I love. And I think they're made in LA. Yep, they sure are. So they're local too, to me, which makes them extremely eco-friendly. Mmm. Wow. To be honest, that's better than I expected because I'm more of a chocolate person, not so much like a, a cinnamon, but these are fantastic. The texture is great. They have the right amount of flavor. Wow. Really good, kind of moist, but a little crunchy on the outside. Perfect texture. Mm. Next I have chocolate chip walnut. Mm. That sounds really good. <laughs> These seem a little bit bigger, but maybe that's because they have little chunks coming out of them. Mmm, <laughs> they just taste really fresh. I got them last night and so I assume they were made several days ago at the minimum, but they taste like they just came out of the oven and cooled down. They are so incredibly fresh and that just makes them absolutely delicious. And lastly, the pumpkin chocolate chip. And again, a little skeptical. Pumpkin, I like pumpkin on its own, but it's part of a dessert. Not so sure, but they do have chocolate in them and I've heard amazing things about them. really good. The pumpkin's actually very subtle. So you taste more of the chocolate chips. And these are the most moist out of all three of them, or all four, four of them if you include the lavender. Um, that's really, really good. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I would pick a favorite. They're all equally delicious. Like I said, I'm more of a chocolate person, so maybe it's a tie between the chocolate chip walnut and the pumpkin chocolate chip. The pumpkin chocolate chip's really, really good because it gives a little extra flavor to it, whereas the chocolate wa chip and walnut is just a chocolate chip cookie. Um, but they're all fantastic. Really glad I got to try them again and try some more flavors. Definitely check these out. I know in Los Angeles they're available at Whole Foods, but um, I'm sure if there's a demand for them, you can get them across the country, and uh, I'm sure that you could probably order them online and they would ship them to you as well. They would make great gifts, great for parties, great for snacks, picnics, um, and like I said, perfect little bite size. You can put them in your lunch box or you know, bring them to work with you, and uh, they would be perfect for that. Absolutely excellent. 